Far left is Brittany Washington, head coach Sandy Hughes. Far right, Kendra Coleman, coach. You know, over the state, and we'll take questions. Um, I thought we came out uh, not processing what we needed to be doing. Uh, we let them get some shots, uh, some looks, and um, they got going. You know, when you play a young team like that, it's important that you jump out on them early. Uh, I thought defensively, we had some miscues in terms of understanding and, and communication as to what we were supposed to be doing. Let 21 hit a couple of buckets, uh, and I thought that's what got them going. You know, they were pumped up, they were ready to go. Uh, I think that's, she gave them that, that, that intensity focus that they could possibly pull off the upset. You know, I told my staff before the game, I said that the way to beat us uh, today is they need at least four people in double figures. They need to be able to hit the three ball, um, they need to not turn the ball over, and they had to get to the free throw line and out rebounds. They did all those things, you know. And um, you know, looking back on the game, you know, um, I just feel like you know, today in the shoot around was the first shoot around we have them going live, and that's because some of the kids were complaining about, you know, uh, Achilles and Jazz was complaining about a heel, and you know, Kendra tweaked the knee a little bit, and Bonnie's been hampered by a knee. We were really banged up after uh, the last game last night. So I just made the determination maybe we don't need to go live. And you know, looking back on it, I probably wish if I had to do it all over again, we probably would have gone live because we just seemed to have seen offensively. Our, our, our timing was terrible. We didn't get our screens where we needed them. The, the bigs weren't rotating uh, defensively. We, we just seemed to be uh, two seconds late on everything. You know, and they took advantage of it. You know, my hat's off to Alabama State. Free's done a good job with a little young crew. And, you know, um, I just hope they go and represent us well. Questions? And to the ladies, um, you were one for six in the first half and three for eight. Was it a case of trying to do too much too soon or putting it all on your backs or? Is that for me or them? The ladies. Oh, but, um, for myself, um, I would say I did put a little more pressure on myself this game than I did in the other game. Um, I don't know why that was the case. I felt that I put too much pressure on myself. So. Yeah. We did just have um, some jitters at the beginning. We're thinking that we need to put the team up over the top. Um, for the first five minutes of the game, that we did do a little bit too much, but I think defensively is what we really, really um, hurt ourselves. Coach, um, Jasmine Jefferson um, did a really good job, I felt, of sacrificing her body, which I'm sure because your guys is, is a, she's a, you're accustomed to that type of play from her. Um, early in the game, she um, drew fouls on herself by going for charges, but then it didn't deter her, and then she was still right there again, and then got the call. Uh, however, I felt like she just really never found her rhythm mm -hmm. for the game. Would you um, agree with that? Talk about, about that a little bit. Well, you know, the first foul that they called on her, uh, I could see a change in her demeanor. You know, um, Jasmine is our energy person. You know, we, we go how she and Drea go. You know, if they're bouncing and as we play, uh, as we tournament playing off the bounce. You know, and, and she hasn't, she didn't play like that today. I, I thought she, excuse me, she was worried about plays that had happened previously and she never focused in on what she needed to do going forward at no point in the game. And you know, and I shared that with her. Um, you know, I thought the one, two of the big, big things was when Kendra picked up her second foul. Um, I thought uh, little 21 getting the open looks at the three ball because that's what she is, she's a three point specialist. And we never took advantage of her when she was in the game on the defensive end, uh, on our offensive end, you know, because she doesn't guard well off the ball. Um, you know, I thought 13 did a good job. You know, when you look back at that game, what you're going to see is Southern um, always playing catch up. We're always two seconds late. And, and what you're going to see is Alabama State executing the same offense. We know exactly, it's called mercy. We know exactly where the screen's coming, what's going to happen. We know it's supposed to switch, we didn't switch. You know, we're supposed to trail, we didn't trail. So, you know, we have no one to blame but ourselves. We just didn't get it done. Kendra, how's this week been when you go from the suspension to uh, finally the first game? How's this kind of been for you? Up and down, you know, just trying to get better. Um, 
by me still being young, you know, hearing everything, everybody in and out of my ear with this and that. So, I mean, but when it came down to the game, um, I really just put it aside and focus. Because I, really, I wasn't worried about it. I was just ready to play. I wanted to be there for my team. Coach, is that something you had to address with, with, with ladies? You know, I suppose maybe even earlier in the week to get to this point to kind of put a lot of distractions out of the way. Well, you know, uh, we had to practice um, when we make the determination if we were coming or not. And um, uh, my AD had uh, submitted an appeal, I think, on um, Monday. And we heard back from the appeal on um, Tuesday. I think we submitted it on Monday. It might have been Sunday that he submitted it to uh, get Kendra and Courtney, number 30, um, uh, reinstated. And uh, we heard back on Tuesday. Matter of fact, I was headed to practice. We were supposed to leave Tuesday morning at 8, but I had pushed it back the night before because I had a feeling that it was going to be something drawn out. So we had pushed practice back until 2 o'clock. And at, um, unbeknownst to me, but the kids were waiting around um, at the dome to see what was going on. I wasn't aware. I was meeting with AD and we were conferencing in on conference calls. So by the time I got to the gym, they had been waiting all day, literally. And um, I visited with them and I asked the question about did they want to participate, did they want to go, and they said they did. So, um, and at that point on the way to practice, they did call me and told me the two ladies had been reinstated. So, um, you know, it gave me, you know, the, the energy of what I needed. But, you know, it's not about me, it's about them. You know, they got to get out and participate and they got to get out and do and perform. So, I wanted their input and, and, and to see where they were. Because, I, you know, they're young. Many things bounce off me. You know, you can say whatever. You know, I don't listen to the media, I don't read, I don't watch the news. You know, uh, there's nobody in my ear because, you know, I, I, I decide who's in my ear. You know, as, as young students, people come up off the street, you know, that think they know them because they've seen them in the media or wherever, and they think they can say whatever they want to them. You know, and, and sometimes as a, as a youngster, you tend to want to be respectful to an adult, but, you know, if, if that adult is out of bounds, you know, they got to learn to put the brakes on it, and that doesn't always happen. So, um, it was up to them, and um, I thought it was important that I, um, you know, give them that opportunity to make that call. Coach, if the two players hadn't gotten, we would We weren't coming. You weren't coming. Not with five kids. Yeah. The five kids I would have had uh, only one, two, three, you know, two of the stars. Yeah, and then the others would have been reserves that rarely played, you know. Um, so it wouldn't have been uh, feasible for us to come. It would have just been a turnaround trip, I argue in that. So, um, you know, you know, I, I look at it, you know, um, we didn't do a lot of things we were supposed to, you know, but, you know, when you, when, you, when you look back on the season, there have been games all along, all year long, that we didn't do what we were supposed to defensively. I think we, we thought we were just going to come out and we were just going to blow them off and just do what we do. You know, you got two great shooters on each side, and. Um, you know, we got Jazz in the middle, who's athletic, and you know they they executed us at point blank. Period. I executed, I hustled, and uh, you know my hats off to them. I just hope they don't get you kind. You know, uh, but you know, go out, represent us well, and you know we'll be back at this thing next year. You have any more questions for Sub? Kendra, I know it's early. Can you kind of sum up the season? Especially considering where y'all were after three conference one week and what you did after that. Well, um, this really been a, you know it's been an up and down season for us. Like I said, um, when we after the loss against Brown, we really turned it up to another notch. So um, I mean, it's, it's it's really I I enjoyed it. It's just been a great season. So I, I don't really have anything to complain about to this up to this point. You know, we didn't play up to our expectations. Um, and they just outplayed us, basically. You know, you give up uh, seven for fifteen from the free you know, even, you know, I don't care, you know, that's that's they shot the ball exceptionally well. You're gonna get beat. And, and many of those shots were just stationary, somebody standing looking at the basket like, Oh, nobody's covering me. You know, so that's what's gonna happen. Got time for one more question. Brady, this question is for you at about the eight thirty mark you guys went into your press. Look like a like the containment press, but talk to me about how because you cut the lead to ten, 
-hmm. So it seemed like it might have been able to turn things around for you. Talk about that a little bit. Well, we just didn't capitalize on it. I mean, I think we started to get a little excited when we cut the lead down and kind of started cruising a little bit. I mean, we should have capitalized on it. We didn't. Thank you, ladies.